This is lesson 8, creating CAD geometry from scan data using the autosurfacing command. We'll start this lesson by creating a new part file and using the import tool in the Geomagic for SolidWorks tab to bring in number 8 autosurfacing.stl. This is a tow hook and it's got some complex geometry that might be difficult to model. If I want to just do an exact copy of this by converting it to CAD, I can use the autosurfacing command to skip any manual workflows. When I open the autosurfacing command, I pick the mesh that I'm going to surface and I choose one of the two methods under geometry type, either mechanical or organic. We're actually going to do this part with both methods so we can compare the results. Mechanical methods are great for more mechanical parts that actually have or geometric features to them, while organic is more for organic forms like human bodies, for example. I choose whether or not I let the software estimate the number of patches that I need to create or specify a target patch count. The autosurfacing command is going to break up my scan data into a number of small four-sided surfaces and knit them together. Those surface, or that surface number is controlled either automatically or manually. I choose how much surface detail I need to convey. Basically this is the accuracy to the scan data. We're going to run this command the first time around using the mechanical method. It takes a couple seconds to process and we should see a silver body appear behind our blue mesh. And if I hide my mesh, I can see a rendered CAD solid. Solid body appears in my model tree, and I get a new solid feature here. If I go to the SolidWorks command that shows edges and a shaded view, I can see my patch layout. The mechanical approach puts patch boundaries wherever it sees sharper corners, so it actually follows the contours of this part. You can also see that my patch size is somewhat irregular. I've got larger patches in flat areas, and I've got smaller patches in areas that have more detail. If I show my mesh again, and use the autosurfacing command, this time with the organic method, it will run and it will use different algorithms to break up the scan data in a different way. To be able to see those two CAD solids side by side, I'm going to hide my mesh and I'm going to go into insert, features, and then move copy to move one of my meshes, or sorry, one of my solids to one side. In this case, I'm going to move the second body that we created. I'm actually going to use or select the body itself, not the feature, and use the handle to drag it off to one side. Now when I go back to my shaded with edges view, I can see the results. The organic method tries to create equal size patches wherever it can. But in this case, it looks like the mechanical method follows the lay of the part a little bit better. Now that this is a CAD solid, we can use it to combine into or remove from other solids and design new parts around this.